welcome to Sector One GT and your YRC. Uh, we're round five tonight at the beautiful Monza Circuit, uh, Group B. Uh, yeah, it's going to be good, it's going to be exciting. I uh, hope everyone's had a good weekend. Uh, joining me in the box tonight is uh, Troy Big Guns, fresh from uh, the A race last weekend, and also joining me in the box is Mr. Paul from uh, the CP Racing Empire. Good evening, lads. How are we tonight, gents? sector here for round five of s1 gt at the beautiful monza opening 1922 5.7 kilometers long 11 turns one of the most famous race tracks in the world it's actually the world's third purpose-built motor racing circuit after brooklyn's and indianapolis here we are in the supra which should be an absolute jet around here as we head down the main straight now building up speeds over 270 280 kilometers an hour then we're going to hit the 150 board hard on the brakes Right, stand on the middle pedal. Back to first gear into the first red affilio. So it's right, left, then we accelerate hard. Now through Curva Grande. This is flat through here. We should see some two, three wide action, I reckon, on the opening lap. Really important here as well to position your car perfectly so you don't allow yourself to be overtaken into the second red affilio. Here's we come up now, slightly uphill braking, back down to second gear, clip both apexes, slightly wide there in the super, it didn't want to turn in. Now it's the short shoot down to the first Lesbo. Great corner this one, back to third, tip it in, let the nose really tuck in, it's quite cambered so you can take a lot of speed through there. Now it's to the second Lesbo. A little bit trickier this one, you don't want to run it too wide, that little astro turf strip there will just catch the rear and spin you straight into the wall. Now as we head down the back straight, under the famous bridge, this is where the Tifosi go nuts. What a track this is, what a setting. Now into a scarring, wild chicane section. It's left, it's right, then it's left again. Average speed through here, you're looking at about 160, 170 kilometers an hour. Run it out as wide as you dare. Now down the long back stretch. This is where we'll see some slipstream and overtaking as well. Now into the Parabolica. Super fast right hander. Third gear, you can short shift it to fourth. A lot of guys will do that, minimize the wheel spin on exit. What a fantastic lap this is. What an excitement machine this track is. This is gonna provide some real drama. I'm giving you the hot tip right now. There's gonna be slip streaming, there's gonna be wild overtakes, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the purple sector around the wild, fast, and furious. Autodroma Nacional de Monza. Awesome. Thank you very much, Sean. So, have I got my co commentators with me now? Will you do, mate? I'm here. We are, we are cool. Alright, so, how's the uh, FYRC lobby looking tonight, uh, Claude? All good at the moment. We did just uh, complete a test start and yeah, turn one. You know, um, still sorting it out. But uh, be interesting to see how they get through there through the main race. All right, cool. Well, uh, I think uh, we will start. We'll start by having a look at the point. group 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 B after um, after Brands Hatch and uh, Schnicko, of course, is uh, out in front. Uh, Clint is in second. Unfortunately, Clint's not able to race tonight. He's at a uh, family emergency. So, uh, hope you're uh, hope you're well, Clint, and uh, hope to see you next uh, next weekend in Spa. And then uh, we've got D, we've got D, Sean, and Barry as well, rounding out the top five. Those guys will be looking for a pretty solid 
result tonight, uh, big guns to try and claw some, claw some space back. Yeah, I think he's got a, he's got the car to do it. He's just got to make sure he can keep it on track. Yeah, that's all right. And uh, in the team's championship at the moment, Logitech, yeah, they've got a huge lead back to counter punch. And Cornerstone, those CP boys, they won't like being second and third for very long. So I think, uh, shall we get uh, qualifying underway? Good, sir. We are... A go. We are a go. All right, cool. So, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Who do we have? We've got CB Chris. Uh, we got Dadson, I think it is. We've got Josh Locke. We've got Justin in it. We've got Shizer. We've got Brad. We've got Shizer again. Hope you're well, lads. Uh, of course, uh, being, uh, being Anzac weekend as well. I hope everyone uh, got up in the morning and paid their respects from the driveway. And uh, thank you to all those... Uh, glorious soldiers who uh, went and did what they had to do so we can sit here and play the team racing cars on a Sunday night. From what I've been reading today, I think there was a pretty good turnout for people on the driveways. Yeah, no. Yeah, from what I was reading yesterday, I was reading it was really good, so it's really good to see. Right. So we are underway with qualifying. Dan is out first. All right, as we get followed on by... Followed by Ghost, NASCAR, and Brent. Cool. We've got uh, Black Dynamite here tonight, of course. Uh, he's been missing the first few rounds. He's had some terrible internet trouble, so it's really, really good to see him on track in the uh, Smart Grip car for Black Dynamite Racing. We got, uh, we've got D in the uh, GT track car. I think those are corners, don't are they? Or are they counterpunch those things? They might be counterpunch. They might be counterpunch, right? Thank you, good sir. We got Could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, we probably are. It's okay. Uh, we've got, uh, we got the captain from Ragged Edge. Uh, the captain, as usual, has been setting the place on fire in practice. So, once again, we uh, hope you'll carry on with that strong performance. I think we're going to see Captain come out with a blistering first lap and hopefully continue it on for the rest of the qualifying, but his, his pace is as fast as the Group A's could go anyway. Yeah, he's really quick. We've got Mr. Brent from Rony Controls in the uh, glorious uh, Toyota Super. We've got Lucky in the uh, Lucky's Lawn Care car with Tyra on the side. Uh, now, unfortunately, Lucky's going to need to pull a hat out of the bag because the poor guy's got a full grid spot penalty, so he'll be looking for a pretty strong result to qualify. We're also missing uh, Clint tonight. Yeah, yeah, we are missing Clint, unfortunately. And uh, Aaron, I think, will be his replacement, who can't make qualifying, but will be there for the race. Of course, there's... Starting off the back of the grid. Yeah, and the, uh, the beautiful Aussie Hampton... Aston Martin, of course, for uh, Cal Adams. Okay, we've got, we got Barry for Obsession Motorsport. We've got Nolan Brewery M6. Uh, Barry coming off a very strong result last time out in, uh, at Brands Hatch. We've got Mighty Mo Jalen in the uh, My Tracks entry for Blacklight Motorsport, which is a shot for that. <laughs> and then, I think uh, Mo, I think Mo's going to be looking for a pretty good drive tonight. He hasn't had that good of a season. Uh, he, had, he, had a, he had a shocker at Brands too, didn't he? he? Got caught up with the captain and a couple of other guys down there. So he'll uh, definitely be looking for a pretty strong result today. We got DJ Braid in the second of the running control cars. Uh, pretty solid this week in uh, practice. Um, I think they'll go all right tonight, the Roman boys, with a bit of luck. Non -biased just going to check. Just going to start to see the first times coming through now. Right, let's jump up the phone. We've got Dan starting off with a 47.7. Captain does a 45.8. That's ridiculous. How the hell can you do that on the opening lap? 
Oh, uh, you'll have a good, good bit of a draft there. That's amazing. We got lucky in P2, so there we go. The big strong start from the big Jag. We got D in third. We got uh, Black Dynamite in fourth. That's a pretty, pretty strong first lap there from uh, Big Matty D. Hard soft and P5 and the Aston Martin for Aussie. And Dan the Man and the uh, second of the Obsession Motorsport cars. P7, that's a good start from him. Snicko and Barry in the BMWs down in 7th and 8th. They're going to want to get a bit further up yeah. from that. They're going to want to get a lot further up. They're two seconds off the pace at the moment as well. That's, yeah, that's, that's looking pretty, pretty big. Pretty hard to. Fathom two seconds on the track, but uh, it's a it's a big difference when you're looking at it through uh, the gap between each car. Yeah, no, it is. It's, it's huge. We got NASCAR in ninth. We got DJ there in tenth. Um, and uh, what else have we got? Mr. Brent in twelfth. We got Ghost in thirteenth. So I don't know what happened there to the four. That's, that's a terrible start for him. There he is. 3.7. Maybe he's just trying to get some space here at the back. He's come in already. Wow. That's a big pull. Fresh boots already. It's big. I think uh, Barry and Snicko. Probably need their low fuel runs and, and a good a good uh, draft to match that 145.8. Yeah. It's going to be pretty hard to beat, even though it's a first lap. Lucky did a 40. What's that? A 40 be a 46.3. So that's still a pretty quick lap. Yeah, that's still a good lap. That's a good lap for the Jag if they were struggling with it. They've certainly got a hold of it this round. That's right. We've got D in third, so that's a good start for D as well. He'll be getting held up quite a bit there though, down the man. He's in fourth, so the, uh, the smart group cars have found some pace. And they're, up, they're up there this weekend. That's good. And they're running uh, similar times, the pair of them. Yeah, which is good, it's real handy. Must have been uh, practicing between each other during the week. <laughs> the cap captain's just got a bit of a draft off uh, Black Dynamite here, so we might see even a better lap than that. Yeah, he has his, his, we're watching, uh, watching the D's got a penalty as well, so the captain pulls out. Get into the parabolic cap. Nice tight line there from both of them. Captain's coming in. Oh, Captain's in. Captain's in. D follows him. D follows him in as well. We'll keep an eye on Lucky here. He's on an outlap, so he's just about to start another flyer. No, he's coming back in. Yeah, he's coming in again. They're all coming in. Snicko still in the 47s. Dean, uh, Mr. Brett there is just coming on as the outlap there. I think he had Barry behind him as well. DJ's in as well. Keep an eye on Sean here because he came in. So this is a flying lap from Ghost. We'll see what he's got here. He's up. He's up six points at the moment. Through Rogiera. Into Lens my one. Now D's had a big moment behind him. Into Lens my two. Now he's looking very strong through there. Carlos really good. I think Ghost is going to be looking for a good race as well because. I don't think uh, Brands went to his liking. No, he didn't win, so he didn't like it at all, did he? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come down 
heading towards the parabolic and down the back straight he calls it. He's 1.1 seconds up so he's definitely going to make some time with a bit of luck. Oh, he, he won, he's nearly four seconds off the pace he's, right now. He's way off the pace. He's 1.4 seconds off DJ at 12 too, so... Oh. Up to sixth. Snicko so, into fifth too. Yeah, Snicko into fifth. He made a lot of time in that last sector. Ghosted, that was huge. As Snicko pits. Captain, four, four tenths up on Lucky. Well, that's a great lap by Lucky in the Jag though. That's, that's a fantastic lap. He's going to be really, really upset when he realises he's got a four minutes by penalty though. He's going to hate it. So they're probably looking like they got three laps left. The, la the third lap will be touch and go as to whether they actually get it or not for some of them. Yeah. Of course, uh, GT Sport had an update this week and uh, messed around with some of the VOP settings and a few of the tyre settings on the cars as well. So we'll uh, we get to see the fruits of that, I guess. We'll wait the tea, wait till the race to see how that pans out. But, uh, Wondering if why the guys might be a little bit slower or a little bit quicker than they were last week. Yeah, it seems to have affected some cars and not others, but um, it's, it's supposed to bring them all closer together for fuel and tyre wear, so we'll see how that pans out during the race. Yeah, we got Dan the Man in fourth before uh, Dynamite Race, and that's a good result for the man. We got NASCARs down in eighth. We've been looking to improve on that for sure. The Bez Media car. That's the uh, cornerstone side of the garage as it fits. So Captain's done in that lap. Hardsoft's another one that still hasn't seemed to have got a hold of the Aston this, this season, although he pulls a pretty good number he then. <laughs> jumps up P7 on you there. Yeah, Hardsoft doesn't use it. We've seen it in uh, earlier rounds as well. Hardsoft isn't, isn't the best qualifier, but he seems to seems to come up with a half-decent race result every time. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that at the moment. I think uh, Turb 1's going to be spicy, though. So he's, he might make a few spots up there. Hansoff is uh, collecting a cone at the moment. <laughs> he's trying to get the weight up in the big Aston. I don't think you need to do that. So we've got Barry on uh, on screen here at the moment for obsession and hit in fourth place. Uh, coming off a really strong result at uh, Brands Hatch. Uh, I do believe the after party was quite long down in Tasmania at uh, Obsession HQ. Hard soft. Oh no, he's left. Oh no! Oh, that's drama there. Huge drama there. Oh, that's I not too bad. If he can get time. back in, he can still set a time, yeah. yeah that's right. So, Ghost has managed to get up to peak five, so that was a huge lap by the, uh, the two time champ. And now this will be the last last stop. I don't have to put any fuel in, but he'll definitely put in the boots on. Captain's in as well. Barry improves. Does a 46.7. That puts him up to P4. Yeah, it'd be nice to run around with 19 litres for the extra lap, but the GTR absolutely chews it when you're revving the ring out of it. Oh yeah, I can imagine. So DJ in the road and, and the Super has popped up to 8th as well. So he's in the 47s, that's a good job there from DJ. In the roaming car there, I think he'll be happy with that. The gap between him and Snicko isn't very big either, so if he pulls a good lap in here, he might actually jump Snicko. Yeah, there's, no, there's nothing in it, 0 .087. But 
it's Nico here. We're keeping an eye on him as he runs through Lesmo 1. He's got uh, Mighty May behind him in the, in the black one AMG. Of course, uh, everyone from, well, at the moment it'll be sixth place up in the gainer spot. So that puts, that puts D on P2 on the front row. Puts Ghost P4, so. He'll be, he'll be wrapped with that, won't he? Oh, yeah. He'll be Luck. Until he gets to the Luck. next corner. Lucky's going to be cheering to get the second spot because he's got four, four grid, grid spot penalties. Yeah, that's right. All right, so it's a 40 minute race, though, so the start of the race is half the battle won, but uh, turn one could be another story as well. All right, so Snicko gets through just as time turns to zero. So qualifying started. So the captain got through as well. A lot of traffic down here. We've got three Corvettes and a GDR. That can't be any good for anybody. So Lucky's done. Lucky's done. It's going to be make or break. It is. Keep an eye on D here. Provisional second at the moment. Up. See how Ghost is. Ghost is P6, be provisional 5. Oh, Captain's got a penalty. Oh no, that's, Cap that's, that's Captain's his race. Lap done. Uh, his Captain's lap done, that's it. That's a big penalty, too. Barry's got a penalty, that's him done. That's him done. Wow, so they're all pushing a little bit too hard on the final lap. Yeah, that was a big penalty for Barry. Alright, so Hardsoft joined back the room again. Barry pulls out to the side. Nice job, Barry. Let's these guys come through. Dee's a little bit wide there through a scary. Uses all the track and a little bit more. Now Ghost is in behind him here. We're getting a little bit of a toe with a bit of luck. The captain's still pushing really hard as well. Here we go. Go to, we'll go to D first as he crosses the line. See what he's got. See if he improves. No. Ghost goes to P2. Wow. <laughs> what a time from Ghost. That's huge. That's a 46 flat. Wow. Oh, he'll be wrecked with that. As the, cap the captain pulls up beside him too, just to say congratulations, mate. Wow. That is clutch lap if ever I've seen it, ladies and gentlemen. I think he's going to be ecstatic being oh, front row. Oh, he will be loving life. He wouldn't, I don't think he thought he'd be that far up the field. So Lucky will shift back a few. Yeah, Lucky ended up finishing uh, third and qualifying, so that'll drop him down to Seven. seventh. Still not all that bad, it's better than starting a lot further down. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to start too much further down than that, would you? Okay, so let's let's head over to FYRC land while we'll uh, chat to you in about uh, 45 minutes-ish, I suppose. Yeah, uh, just uh, give a good call to Josh, he's He's going to do a good race tonight as well. <laughs> Is he? All right. Well, I'll try my best. Right. I'll see you when you get back. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, I'm joined now in the box by Mr. Claude. How are you, mate? Good, Jimmy. How are you, mate? Yes, good, mate. That's are the you, way. Your boys did all right in qualifying. Yeah, pretty yeah. pumped, mate. How you know, they put that? me to... They put me in commentary for this race because there are no counterpunch boys here, but um, happy with second and third. That's a that's a great run. But focus switches to FYRC now in the Porsches. That's right. So we're, we're uh, I tell you what, CP's looking pretty good to repeat what we did last week at the moment. Yep. Yep. They, good start uh, and uh, dominated let's... last week. Let's see if we can keep it rolling. Let's see if we can keep it happening. About to set the boys off into qualifying here, mate, if you're awesome. good to go. Yeah, no, we're good to go. We'll have a quick look at 
FYRC points while we've got them up. We've got a little break here. And um, of course, Lockwood for Ragged Edge. Uh, we just heard he needed to pump the tyres up a little bit there, but you don't really need to. He's got a huge lead. Uh, just in it moving up to uh, to group pay really really paid dividends for Lockwood. He's he's out to a huge lead. We got uh, the Black Light boys are in second and third now. The bad, the good and the bad doctor. And uh, we've got uh, Mr. Cool Pro in fourth, Jandor and the Moth in the uh, in the Aussie Hampton car rounds out the top five. So first to fifth position separated by th over nearly over 300 points just about so and then we've got vf and six in the logitech car yeah i think the black light boys today need to really keep the pressure on on lockwood and hopefully he just doesn't run away with this but we're in the guts of the season now and these uh these black light guys have been looking good in practice lockwood has too and there's a few guys in this field too mate that i think are just looking for a bit more luck there's yeah. two or three drivers in this field that just continu continuously seem to find trouble and they'd be looking for a uh, for a nice clean race for a change. Turn one might have a bit to say about that. Yeah, absolutely. I think we might be in for a little bit of drama tonight in both races at turn one. But we'll go through the field right now. So we've got Lockwood out in front, as he should be, uh, in the PBS car for Ragged Edge. Um, yeah, I think he's, he's looking pretty strong. We got uh, Subaru for Garage 84 in the Advanced Fitness Subaru car. Go to those boys. We got the Bad Doctor, who's probably been home for about 10 minutes. He's literally just got home from work, so good, good job for the Good Doctor for jumping. Bad Doctor, sorry for jumping in. We got uh, Prusky. Now, yeah, Prusky won at Brands Hatch, and uh, nobody's seen him until this morning, basically. So. Might have celebrated a bit too much, but uh, he's back at back and in the seat, ready to go. We got uh, Maras for Jandal, I believe, and the, uh, the Pope car. We got Filthy in the uh, Dubbo Heavy Towing car. Of course, Filthy uh, stepped in to replace. I believe they had a hardware failure at home last weekend, so um, good on uh, Mr. CP Motorsports again, the other one, for jumping in the seat, he's in the seat for the rest of the year, so uh, looking forward to see how he goes. Good. Yeah, Chase is uh, he's back, flat stick, you know, he's one of the OG boys and he's excited to be back, and unfortunately, as you say, yeah, Berserks has um, vacated the seat which is going to allow Chase to, to compete again. We're looking forward to that. Right, we've got the bad doctor there for uh, Blackbot, the TMR car with a penalty. I'm sure he'll be enjoying that. Stuck behind the CP car as well. He'll be loving life there. Uh, we've got SSL Death in the uh, Tastic car for Obsession Mode Sport. We've got uh, Faster Jet in the second of the Pope cars. And uh, he's with with Lucky's Lawn Care Fast Judas, sorry. So my apologies to them. We got uh, ooh, VF in the Logitech car, he got a one Picked up a penalty. Pinal, penalty, yeah. yeah. Must have uh, jumped the gun in the scary. Just through a scary, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and we got Corpro in the Jandal car, there we go, we got that one right. Uh, I believe we've got Hines on the side of that car. Uh, uh, Curl probably looking for a pretty strong result tonight as well, I think. Hasn't really had the best of seasons, but um, yeah, he'll be looking for a pretty strong result to start off the uh, back half of the season. Oh, as expected, I think we got Lockwood setting the benchmark early. A 148 flat, essentially. Yeah, and the good doctor that. putting in a decent old first lap there. Okay. He'll be real happy with that. We just saw in the... Uh, in the uh, the main group there, the quickest time was set by the first lap. They weren't able to beat that first lap that um, no. Captain set over there. Oh, yeah, but that um, was a crazy first lap, mate. It just sort of pointed out how key the tow can be on this track. You know, these long straights. If you just manage to get a car in front in the right spot, there it can be up to a second quicker, mate. It's um, yeah, it's absolutely. it's very influential, yeah. 
We got the Moth. Big shout out to the Moth. Uh, e 5 So, he's done a fantastic job there. Um, e 5 for the Moth. The gentleman driver of yeah, S1. Absolutely. Mate, he's been pretty solid through the, uh, the, the, the earlier practice and I wouldn't be surprised with a top five, even a top three finish here. He's yeah. been very competitive. We've got Betty there for Frontier Motorsport and the Abruzzi car. That looks beautiful. They've done a good job of delivery on that in the off-season. That looks really nice. We've got Ted Hibb and Bad Doctors down in 11. Can you believe that? I'm not be happy with that at all. So Lockwood comes in. Of course, the 10-minute qualifying session for FYRC. Well. Yeah, well, the bad doc has had that. Um, he's jumped in late, obviously, as you mentioned earlier, and it takes a while to get into a rhythm when you haven't put any laps in beforehand. But it only takes one hooked up lap and makes the world of difference he's, uh, as he goes off on a new one now. Yeah, the bad doc just jumped straight up to seconds. How's that? There He's you only go. One tenth on Lockwood as well, so if he strings another couple of laps together, he might he might actually put it on pole. He's up again. Good talk to there at P3. A little bit loose. He's on an out lap. No, oh, he's picked up a penalty. Bad dock oh, there. Bad dock through the second team. chicane, yep. So here we go. Unfortunately. Just put a little bit of love for Lockwood here. P1 at the moment with three minutes to go. They might get a couple of laps in. Uh, only one only one team for the front though. You'll be sweating a little bit on that. Pruski's on a slightly compromised lap here getting around. Good dock. But he has got a bit of a toe as he uh, approaches Ascari, so he's could be on a quick one here. Think, Old uh, wide hips. I think the, uh, they're all on outlaps at the moment. Then he's got to come in, so they're about to start there. Probably their second to last four in Flying lap, laps say, now. So Bruski's done well to uh, move the good doctor out of the way. We'd be happy with that. Good, bad. Good doctor runs wide there at the Parabolica. So the bad doctor's in. New beats for the bad doctor. We'll jump on board with Lockwood here as he starts his second to last flying lap. As he goes through Ritofelio. Hugging the inside there, Kirby Grande. I think this track really suits the Porsche as well. Up. Look at that, he's four tenths up already. This is going to be a mega lap from Lockwood. Strap yourself in, ladies and gentlemen. As he comes through Lesmo now. Nice and smooth. Good exit out of Lesmo 1. Lesmo 2. Doesn't want to run too wide. Oh, perfect. As we hit uh, Sergio Rogaro. To a scary look at that smooth as silk that thing is. He's lost a little bit of time there, but he's still up. He's still three tenths up. Through a scary, no penalties. Comes out of there nicely. Down the straight to the parabolica. This is going to be an exceptional time. Yeah, mid to late 47. Nice, perfect through the parabolica. Runs it out wide. Onto the front straight now. Here he comes. Wait for the time. The 47 8. Eight. Wow. So the bad doctor now, he's on an out lap. Good doctor's going to come through next. It's an improved time Four by four tenths. Yeah. Puts him in a third. Filthy, Filthy. P2. Wow. There, there you go. go. That, that mid-pack, mate, they were all sort of within half a second from 5th down to about 11th at that stage. But 
they were so close on track that a few of those guys were getting that all important toe. Yeah, Filthy's yeah. obviously one of those guys. Oh, a little bit of action down there. Red Ophelio. We had Lardas is in the sand. So the Having a bit of a hard time getting out. Yeah, so Lockwood now. Three, just over three and a half tenths up the road from Filthy. That was a great lap by Filthy. Just see if he's up whether he's going to carry on with it or not. He is. He's two tenths up again as Lockwood. Pulled out all the stops on the final qualifying out lap. Gets out of uh, Scarry nicely there as well. This will be huge for Ragged Edge. Got to, they nailed pole position for S1 GT. Can they do it for FYRC as well? Little bit wide out of the parabolic. That might cost them a little bit of time. Pushing the limits there, yeah. Very much. Comes through now. 47. Oh, that's three. fast. 47 that's 3. That's fast. That's a that's mega lap. Push your mate tens clear of the field wow, there. Wow, that's huge. So we got Filthy and P2. He's just coming out of the Parabolica as well. The good Doctor jumps up to P2. Bad, Bad Doctor to P2. P2. So Filthy doesn't improve. The Doctors have jumped him at the, lo the last lap. Priestkey didn't improve. Wardass here in P6. We'll see how he goes. Got faster in seventh as well. No, no improvement. There. Well, that was an intense qualifier. Yeah, that was. Four Blacklight boys coming through with the goods right at the end. So there we go. That is Ragged Edge on pole again. Good and the bad doctor, second and third for black light. We've got filthy P4, he'll be stoked with that. Cornerstone boys will be cheering hard for him there. Alright, here we go, Red's rising. And they're racing. Oh, filthy didn't get off the line very well there. Lockwood's got a mega start, he's got three cars on them already. So the good doctor's in fourth, Lada's got a good start there in fifth. As they come down to turn one, Prusky's looking, looking. So he's made a couple of spots. Oh, there's bump and grow going on back there. I think that was core pro into the back of Ladas. The moth's gone. Oh no, oh. the moth's had a big drama. Turn we'll one's see. claimed a few. Yeah, we'll see if we can uh, catch that on the replay. So who's that? That's core pro. He's way off the back. Alright, we'll jump up the front now, and the bad doctor is all over Lockwood here at the moment. Just made that gap up after the first corner. We've got Prusky in third, and the, bad, the good doctor in fourth. Big loser off the start there, Filthy. He's had a horrid start. Dropped all the way back to 10th. He's, he's managed to make two spots up in the first few corners, but from essentially a strong fourth to 10th is a horrible start for him. someone as well to we'll get jump back up the front now the bad doctor is all over Lockwood again just cutting the pretty cutting the corner pretty well there jump on board yeah he's got a penalty so he's gonna have to burn that won't be happy with that so come with the proud now does a good job we'll have to finish burning that on the straight so that'll hurt his uh That'll hurt his top line, his top, top speed down the straight. Pulls over to the side there, well done bad dog. Prisky in third, so these guys have fanned out a lot. Prisky's made some. One point five seconds from Prisky to the good doctor. He's made some good gains off the start. He's been a winner off the start. And managed to get state well clear of all the drama at turn one. But you're right, these first four got away and found themselves out of it and Lockwood's going for broke. He's trying to break these guys early. 
So Super is made up of a few spots as well. He's in the safe P5 there. Filthy's managed to gain just about all the spots back in the lap, so that's a mega drop for Filthy. He's in P6. Betty's P7 for Frontier. That's a good start from Betty. And uh, here we go. This is World Championship land down here. We've got Faster Jet, 8th. We've got SSL Death in ninth, who's getting absolutely torn up by Lada Ars in 10th. And Corpro's in this as well. He wants a little bit of it. He gets around Lada Ars there. Ooh, Lada Ars hugs the inside wall there. Lesmo, 1, 2. One more from Corpro here for Jandal. Gets a good run out of Lesmo, too. Tucked in underneath this is out there there for obsession. He's gonna have to probably have a look. Oh no he's not. Backs it off a little bit there. So they run into a scar now. Nice oh yes he's out there so very loose for a scary. Oh he did well to hang on to that. I think Corpro was a little bit nice to him there as well. We've just got a lot ass right behind him in the toe as well as they pull out. Cool Pro's going to jump the inside there into the parabolic air. Not today. Of course, that will affect his, uh, his exit out of the parabolic air. So look for Lada to jump all over at the end of the straight. But back up the front now, and Lockwood's got nearly two seconds on the back. Proust keeping the move Proust on the inside. Proust has a look at Renafilio. I don't know if Bad Doc run wide there. Yeah, I don't think Priestley will muck around if he gets the chance. He's just going to send it. Well, it was quite interesting in the A race. We saw how setup can make a massive difference to the top end speed of these Porsches, depending on how much wing they've got on them. Um, there was a couple of drivers in the A race who had a clear straight line advantage and they put it to good use. Whether there's anybody here running down four settings as low as that, be interesting to see. He's in a bit of a charge, yep. Made up four positions in two and a half laps essentially. Of course you wouldn't expect anything else from uh, from the CP boys though really would you? Well, I'd, I'd say Filthy's going to be a bit hot under that helmet. He's looked for a bit of luck, and this time, it all, well, without really going in a, and investigating, it looked to be his own own doing, that start. Um, he'll be a bit upset at himself, I would have thought, to have blown what was such a oh, good qualifying go. session Prince for him. He's got around the bad doctor, and the bad doctor's... Well, he's, he was up in the rear bumper on that uh, Tamo Cars Porsche. I don't know where he's done that. Well, he might not be able to catch that on the replay. Right? Well, been way too far there. This is this is so allowed the good doctor to close right up. In on this as well. so Let's see what sort of team orders are in place here. Yeah, I was just going to say, I wonder if the bad doctor will let him through. Of course, these guys, the doctors are second and third in the championship as well. So. It's a bit of a tough position, really. Oh, here we go. The bad dog there. Don't do it there. Oh, Prisky hangs on. The doctor's got the watching brief there. He's just going to sit back and watch these guys beat each other up, I think. It's an interesting position for Blacklight here. You've got, you know, the you've got the good doc here who, if he's quicker, you would suggest that it might be best if bad doc lets him through, but then again they're in reverse positions for the championship so which way do you go yeah that's right and meanwhile Lockwood's he's checked out it's all over already it's four and a half seconds up the road he's bruising out and a scary so these guys are back into fourth with their gaps as soon as they pull away a little bit and they move down the field they seem to want to join each other back up again background filthy's button around Subaru as well he has so there's a big charge there Betty's going to be having a look at Subaru as well pretty soon and now Brutzy car there 
see some chrome wheels finally come on the car as well. It's nice. Word from Pitts has been that this latest update has affected the Porsche's fuel consumption to an extent. Um, a little bit thirstier. Yeah. So strategy with fuel has become a real thing now in this championship and it'll be interesting to see how the boys handle it. So we've got Frisky there. Definitely hacking the inside line there. Into uh, Red Affilio. Down the, down the back of the field there, we got Faster Jet. That's very sideways coming out of uh, Red Affilio there. The Lucky's Lawn Care car with both on the side, P8. Yeah, this battle for second, third and fourth is playing into Lockwood's hands. It's just allowing him to skip away. But there's um, no doubt that the two black light cars have got it over Prusky in the first half of the lap. But then once they get around the back, Prusky's able to just skip away a little bit. Pro runs wide. Coming out of Rogier. Oh, oh, this is how deaf. That's a bit messy there. Can't go too wide in Felizmo like that. That's uh, mid BS uh, pipe right up on the back of this as well. The boss down at 13, so he's had a shock on the race somewhere as well. There we go, he's just out there burning the penalty. So that'll drop him down to 12. Just world championships down here are crazy, aren't they? Jump back up in front now in the uh, Caps are sort of stabilised a little bit between second, third, and fourth. We jump our ball with the bad doctor here. Just have a quick look. So there's about five seconds between the good doctor and filthy. The good doctor's having a look here. Don't do that to your teammates. Not a red affilio anyway. And this is where the two black light cars close right up on Prusky, but. Through Ascari, Filthy's got a clear advantage. He just um, might be carrying a bit more wing on the car than the other two boys. Could be. Look there, Presky, second place. Bad box is really closing up in the air through Rogier into Lismo 1. Oh, Presky's hit the wall! Prusky's at the wall! On the inside of Lesmo 1. Can the bad doctor capitalise on that? The good doctor's caught right up now as well. He's jumped on board with the uh, Mind Tracks Black White Porsche. As so they head down into a scurry now, he's right in the toe. Look at him catching the Prusky. Look at him. Having a look. Showing him the, the nose. Look there. White hips turned on the white hips though. Not going to get this is. The sun. This is where White Hips has got an advantage. Yeah. As we pass sort of half race distance here, mate, just a, a note back on that fuel consumption. They're all under a half. Yeah, they are. Um, have a quick look at the uh, fuel and tyres while well, we've got a minute as well. So, so the bad dog there has got just under half the tank. Lockwood's in. Oh, we didn't see that. They're so all in. Come in. They're all in. So they're all about half a tank. Filthy stayed out. Interesting there for Filthy. So everyone else has come in. Looks we always want to keep this as exo exciting as possible, but Lockwood came in with a massive fuel advantage then. Yeah. yeah. So he's come out in front of Fast and Filthy as well. So. So Filthy's got just over a quarter of the tank left, so running the alternate strategy there. A bit of a strong lock car for the trip home. Bad, a good doc lost a bit of time through that pit stop there. Yeah, like lost a lot of time through there, didn't he? So they've only put really just over half a tank of fuel in as well, so they don't put much fuel on. Bad doctor's having a look at the Lesmo one. Can he get it done? Can he get it done? Yes. yes. Prinsky leaves the door open. Good driving there from both guys. Nice move. So that's bad doctor up to Pete. Uh, it'll be P2 in the end, won't it? Because Filthy's P2 at the moment. So that's right. Effective P2. And 
these pumped a little gap already. Have a look at that. He's here for a good time, but a long time, isn't he? He is, mate, and that was an important move there. Yeah, it was. For cold tyres as well, so he got it done nice and early. And the bad top, good top, sorry, did drop off his guys a little bit. We've got Super P5. Be interesting to see where Filthy comes out and in relation to uh, Super and Betty, whether he's the extra laps actually uh, done he's in. favours or not as he comes in. He'll get him, good top will get him. Super is the one we need to look out for. Yeah, he was approximately five seconds behind the good dock he's prior to the pit done. stop. He's gonna get it done easy. So Phil's I think he's gonna gained, come out. He's gained a fair bit of time. Yeah, he has. So Filthy's is gonna come out behind good dock. Benny there, Benny lost a lot of time in the pits as well. He's dropped way off the back of Super in there in P7. Oh, here we go, the World Championship for ninth place. We got Faster Jet, we got Lardas. Oh, too wide. Oh, oh. doesn't want to work. This is how things in there with VF as well. Yeah, there's going to be some expensive bills on panel beating, I reckon, yeah. in some of those cars. <laughs> Looking a little worse for wear. There we go, Core Pro's. Oh, he's run way wide there. Core Pro's just smashed it. Oh, I think he's totally missed his breaking marker there. He's right up, he's got the moth rock behind him now, so he's lost a lot of positions there. Doctors, he's got a decent little gap there to Mapruski in third. Good Doc's closed up. Good Doc's closing in as well. All the while Lockwood's now stretched his lead out to over eight seconds. In cruise control. Too. Yep. So, hopefully this will be a sign of things to come. Greg and Edge. Doing it easy in the Porsche race tonight. Okay, so Kreisky's having a look at the bad dock there, it's Arena Filio. Is he going to get his Lee? He's still there, he's still there. Oh, whoa, big touch, big touch there. I think they were all involved in that one. We'll see if we can catch that on a replay here. Thanks to FYRC, yes. A little bit too on the end of it. But, um, yeah. I dare say there'll be a little bit more than that. It'll be a post mm. race for sure. So the good doctor and all that actually got around Prusky as well. Oh, Prusky's gone again. Prusky's had enough. Oh, and no. Prusky. And he's going to drop down to sixth place. Super is going to get him as well. So not a very good 30 seconds there for big white hips in the uh, Tamar cars. Hey, yeah, he'll be fuming. It's got to be careful here, tyres are dirty. It's just got to give it a few corners for those tyres to clean up and and dig back in again. That's unfortunate. Mind you, this has allowed Filthy now to get back into fourth. It's been a pretty impressive drive. Yeah, it's, it's got the bit between the teeth and he's just going for it. He is, and the top is the second and third for black one. So they'll be, uh, they'll be wrapped with that. Bad dog's got a penalty as well by the looks of it. Bit of news at the back of the field. The pits have allowed pit stops allowed Moff to close. What was a substantial difference? He was trailing the field after a nasty accident. He's now right on Lardas's ginger here, and he's got a chance to gain a spot or two as well. Jeez, that Aussie hat the car's got a little bit of damage on it too. It doesn't look as it's, beautiful as it does every other week. It's looked prettier, hasn't it? It has. He's, got, he's right on the back of Lardas here, though. The Moff. Defensive line, like us. He's cut back. Dorpro's run wide to the crowd moniker as well. I think he was trying to get back to New Zealand there. There's another way to do it, son. So he just needs to sit, sit back in behind him. He's going to go for it. World Championship for 12th 
half ways. He's backed out of it. Backed out of it. <coughs> Good move, mate. Save it for another day. Alright, we'll get back up the front now. So, championship position uh, for Blacklight Motorsport. The Bad Doctor's in second and the Good Doctor's in third. So, I can't see any movement being made there. So, I think the top three are run and done. Nine seconds up the road, so he can stop and have a cup of tea and his mind and smash a couple of donuts and still finish in first place. I think we've got Filthy in fourth, that's a huge comeback drive from Filthy there. And the uh, double heavy towing car, then we wrap that more old wide episode. What could have been after that strong result from Brad Tatch, he's for himself in fifth place now, and he's uh, he's a long way off the pace, so he's not going to be happy with that. Subaru there in sixth. For uh, Garage 84, quite happy with that. Um, didn't seem all that confident during the week, but uh, midfield there, no one around him. Pains me to say this, but there's a driver out there in the top five that's got a fuel issue. Oh dear. You better have a look yep. and see who that is. We've got a minute to go, can't see any lights yet. And it's already paid dividends. Prusky's oh, managed to get past Filthy. Filthy's on the lights. Oh no. Huge dramas there. Filthy is on the light. He'd be lucky to make it around. Oh no. Yeah, he's so, not on his own here. Superu holding down a strong sixth is in a probably even slightly worse situation here. Oh, I don't think no. he's going to make it. Strategist at Garage 84 and the fuel strategist at Cornerstone must have been sharing notes, but they're the wrong ones, lads. Yes, it's South Dex, he's on the line already as well, but he should this will be his last lap. So he might be alright. Everyone else behind him's got all the juice in the world. Lockwood's on the line as well, so this will probably be the final lap, I would say. I uh, can't see Lockwood going making too much effort to get around again. So this will be the final lap. So Lockwood's going to wrap it up here for Ragged Edge. It's a huge effort from him. He's Great 10 win. seconds down the road. Unstoppable. 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 Pole to flag. Well done, Lockwood. Well done, Ragged Edge. The Doctors are going to fall finish for second and third. Good work there from Black Light Motorsport. Well done. He's going to end up fourth. For obsession, so well done, whatevs. Just he's gonna hang on to fifth, I think. Is oh, he? yes, he does. Just better that wide there at the end. Super Less than a tenth. Super is out of field, but he's gonna finish seventh. These guys are playing for world championship in a nice place there. VFL, is he gonna get him? Is he gonna get him? No. So this is how Death's going to finish in 8th place. Faster Jet will finish 10th. And the Moth's going to end up 11th. So he'll be quite happy with that. Corpro's going to finish 12th. And Lardas has had a shot the last half of the race. He's going to end up 13th. There we go, Lockwood. Cleans him up again. Yep. He's charging towards a championship. He is. It takes something pretty drastic, I think, for him not to come through with a... Uh, an FYRC Group B Championship here. Yeah, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. So there we go. What have we got here? So, Lockwood wins it. Pole, clean race. Didn't get the fastest lap though. I don't know. I didn't catch you got the fastest lap. We'll have a look at the results here. So we've got Lockwood P1. Uh, the good, good Doctor. Bad, bad Doctor in second, the Good Doctor in third, Priestie fell back to fourth, Filthy made it, made it up to fifth after his terrible start, Betty finishes sixth, that's a good result for Frontier Motorsport, Super will be happy finishing in eighth as well, as well. SSL death in ninth, BF in tenth, and Faster Jet, BF finished ninth, sorry, Faster Jet finished tenth, the Moth Ends up finishing 11th after being last at the beginning of the last lap. Kuo is going to finish 12th. 
and Lardas rounds out the field in 13th. And the good doctor got the fastest lap with a 147.6. So, how's that? Lockwood's, Lockwood's got this in the bag, man. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah, well, there'll be a few guys that'll be real happy with those results. The Blacklight boys will be stoked. Good Doc didn't think he had a chance for podium tonight. Just yeah. a few telling him that he was wrong, and he was wrong. Uh, was. But, yeah, that was interesting race, especially sort of between second to fifth position there. That was a uh, that was well worth, well worth watching. Very competitive. Yeah. So the captain's happy with that result. Uh, who have we got? Yeah, Filthy. Yeah, well, but you didn't pick that, did you, Shansky? Hey? Uh, well done, Lock. Well done, Locky. Legends. You'll be a, you'll be an A grade. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty much where he's going to end up. I think. And a special shout out to Filthy there for a good recovery. Yeah, very good. All right. So so there we go. I think um, we'll take another quick look at. Uh, 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 S1 GT points there, so Snickos didn't have a very good qualifying uh, result either, and the three guys basically behind him are all starting in front of him from memory, I think. So uh, I'm sure Big Big Guns will tell me all about it when he joins me. Welcome, Jimmy. Welcome. How are you? Yeah, good. good. People leaving and coming back and setting grids, it's all been fun. Oh, I've had one of those, haven't you? <laughs> fun times. It's alright, it's what it's all about. That's right. So, uh, we're just having a look at the points here, and Snicko's not had a very good qualifying session, but the, um, the two, three guys behind them, I think from memory, are all going to start in front of him, and D, Dan the Man, and Ghost. Uh, yeah. So that could shake the points up a lot. Snicko is all the way back in ninth. Oh, wow. So, so he didn't have a very good qualifying. Drive of the day filthy. Yeah, I could go with that. Scotty, yeah, well done. No bias there, right. mate. I'll just check everyone's in and we'll be away. Alright, cool. So... What have we well, got I'll leave here? you with it, boys. All right, thank you. Thank you no Colin. problem at all. Good luck with the call. Enjoy the race. Speak to you after the race, mate. Thank you. Cheers. So, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, podiums, ladies and gentlemen. Who do we reckon is going to uh, fill the podium? I reckon with uh, Ghost's last clutch lap there, I think he's got something in the bag for this uh, race. I... I, I I'm going to put a cheeky fiver on uh, the big dog to uh, get up tonight. I won't go past Captain. He's setting the pace all week, so let's hope he can keep it on track and put it together. Uh, my podium, I'm going to go... I'm going to put the big dog in uh, P1, and I'm going to go Dan and Barry to fill the podium. There we go. Sorry, Captain. But yeah, I think uh, I think Barry might do it right here. Dan was pretty quick in qualifying as well, so um, yeah, it's going to depend on what strategies everyone's running. There's a few options you can do here. Yeah, that's true. It depends what happens at turn one as well, I suppose, doesn't it? Who gets caught up, where and what, and all that sort of thing. So yeah, let's hope it's a clean start. How was the uh, FYRC start? Uh, yeah. Therefore, I see, yeah, a little bit of drama towards the back, but um, I think for the most part, everyone behaved themselves pretty well, so, um, yeah, no, it was good. Your boy, uh, your boy Lockie got up, got a huge lead and kept it, so. That's yeah, good, he's, uh, he's, he's got a nice little, little points lead too. Yeah, he does, it's going to have an even bigger one now. Um, but yeah, the Doctor's finished second and third, so. Oh, they'll be happy with that. Yeah, nah, that'll be a good, good, good solid result there from the, the Black White boys. Righto, here we go. Hold board now, the Shakedown AMG Mercedes safety car. Uh, of course, big shout out to uh, Brad and the team over there at Shakedown. Uh, go and uh, have a look at them on Facebook for all your GT related content. Um, 
boys do a good job over there, obviously, at the moment, like everyone else. There's not really a lot going on, but um, go over there and give them a, give them a like and a follow. Uh, also, if you be uh, greatly appreciated if you give uh, give us a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I do believe we passed 100 subscriptions in the last week, so we've got our own URL now and everything. So uh, thanks everyone that supported us so far, but um, any new support would be greatly appreciated. So. We are just heading down towards the Parabolica and we are about to start the race. About to start the race. So we've got th S1GT's second best safety car driver on the field at the track at the moment. So we jump on board now with the captain. He's got the uh, GT track car, the counter punch Corvette of Ghost Boss item. He's got another counter punch Corvette. Behind him, of course, uh, Lucky had the unfortunate situation of having a two grid spot, four grid spot penalty. So it shuffled a few guys up. I think Dan and Barry got moved up as well. So watch out for them from row three. They're my Smokies. I think we're going to see this see this GDR absolutely take off from the start. It's got a good good run down the start uh, finish line. This one. There we go. So it looks like Ghost has got the jump. Ghost has got a huge jump down, the man's going to follow him down there as well. Captain moves up to second though, he's on the outside of the turn one. Is there going to be drama down here? Is there going to be drama? So the first three or four get through alright. Oh no! Oh no! Is that Ghost? Ghost and the captain! Oh no, what's happened there? The whole field nearly! The whole field! So there's going to be some upset people here tonight. Let's see if we can uh, catch the captain. Oh, 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 oh. I think we might leave that one. That's going to be really spicy. So D comes out in first place. He's got a seven tenths of a second lead back to Lucky, who got a four grid spot penalty. So he's made up those four spots already. So well done to him. <laughs> wow. Couldn't have turned out any better oh, for Lucky. Not if he tried. <laughs> so we got Dan the Man for uh, Dynamite Racing in third. We got Hard Soft and Ford. Now he's obviously been a huge beneficiary of all that drama in turn one. We got the Captains dropped all the way down to fifth. We got NASCAR in sixth. We got Mr. Brent in seventh. We got Excalibur. In the uh, Aussie head car, of course, Excalibur's filling in for Clint tonight. So, um, so uh, Excalibur's just there. Well, he's, he won't be liking life much at the moment. He's got a very angry two-time champ behind him. Just does the right thing and lets him through. Good work. He, uh, he made six spots, now five spots, but he uh, that was a good start for Excalibur too. Yeah. And of course, uh, there's a lot going on in the Excalibur house at the moment as well. This is Excalibur's junior birth at any drop of a hat, so uh, thank you very much for letting the old boy jump in tonight as well. So, and good luck. As Barry goes around it now, Barry jumps into ninth place. And head back up the front now, Dean's. All the gaps come down a little bit here. Lucky's, Lucky's having a sniff. Yeah, I think I think Lucky has the pace. He might even just sit sit behind uh, D and just feel safe because Captain's a few few car lengths back, so he's he's got a bit of a gap for Captain, and he's been running some pretty good times in practice. Lucky. Yeah, Captain's got hard soft in front of him as well, so uh, I dare say that Aston's not going to be the easiest thing to pass. And he's got Dan the Man in third as well and another Aston. So the top three are sort of breaking away from uh, this hard software a little bit as well. So if Dan the Man can catch these two and these guys can all group up to each other, uh, I dare say that Corvette might be in a little bit of trouble in the strategy land. Captain now gets a good run out of the Parabolica here. Sorry, out of Ascari. Down the straight. 
The GTR kind of makes light, light work of passing people on straights. Yes. We got NASCAR there in sixth. We're happy with the uh, happy with the charmer in turn one. I think we would have made up made him a couple of spots at least. Barry's going to have a good run up uh, on the back of Ghost up the main straight here. Yeah, might, I think we might see a pass come towards the corner. Barry in the obsession car there. Look at how much bigger that thing is compared to the Corvette. It's a monster. He's going to have a look at Red Affilio. I think Ghost is going to let him through. Smart move there. Oh, Barry gets a bit loose coming down to there though. So Ghost is right, tucked right up underneath that big fat BMW as they run through Perfect Run Day on the way to Rogier. So Barry's out wide, it's oh, a little bit of gamesmanship there, we'll be a bit early for that sort of stuff lads. Ghost gets up there, he's up beside him, he's up beside him, is he going to have him? He'll get him through, Rogier. But the inside one into Lesbo, but Barry's not making it easy for him at all. <laughs> He's Ghost ain't giving it up there. either. But the guys take yeah, this is great racing. No contact, nobody's pushed each other off. This is good. We might hang around on this one for a little while here. Jump on board now. Oh, Captain's got a penalty. Captain's got a penalty. Here comes Ghost on Barry. He's going to get it done easy into this car. Oh, no, he's not. Barry, now break the there. Oh. Might be a little bit of fuel saving going on there in the Corvette as well. Maybe realise it's probably not a good idea to jump out in front with all the air behind it. So we've got the captain, the captain now on NASCAR and Hardsoft as well. So something's happened there with Hardsoft. They go three wide down the front straight. That would all be bad. I don't know what happened to Hardsoft there, but he came out in front and he's ended up behind both of them. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's had a, he might have had a penalty in the sky, maybe or something. Who knows? Who knows, but um, you've got to have a pretty quick car to outrun the Aston Martin down straight away and pull it just a jet. Ghost has got back around uh, Barry. So Lucky is a P1, so something's happened to D here. We'll see if we can catch it on the replay. Oh, too far back, too far back, too far. So D's had a huge moment somewhere and he's dropped down to third. So he might have had a um might have had a penalty coming into the last penalty, yeah. last turn. So Dan the man's also jumped. So Dan's in second. That's a huge drive there from Dan. The dynamite boys have been going off. There of third. Oh, oh, Dynamite's hit the fence. Oh no! As, uh, just talking about the bait of the Dynamite boys. Yes. The, uh... See if we can catch that on the replay. That's Maddie as well. Oh, we just missed it. it. Was coming out of Lesmo too, was it? Yes. Yeah. A little bit, obviously, a little bit loose out of Lesmo too. Just hit the grass, I think. And yeah. Started sliding. So back up the front, Lucky is up front for Lucky's law carrier in the Jag. Here comes that big fat Aston mate, and the man wants to have a look. He's got D behind him for the ride as well. Over 250 kilometers at the end of the straight before they break. <laughs> Three, Three wide. wide. He's going to get through all of them. How did he do that? I oh, reckon that wow. could be a, uh, a spitting image of the last lap. That's how uh, oh. D got to third. Gotta catch that on a replay. On a replay. Wow, how did he do that? That was crazy. And he's just left the other two for dead. He's 1.2 seconds up the road already. We've got the captain now on P4, so these three guys here are fourth dead and lucky too. So the captain's bringing these guys along. So that's gave a good good little gap to uh, for Deed back to Lucky there. Yeah, they, Deed's made a huge amount of time there. He was third in the straight. And it's brought Captain right onto the back of Dan. Yeah, it has. And the Captain's bringing, bringing hard stuff and that's how it too. 
Once that GDR gets into the slipstream, it'll be hard to break it. Yeah. As Captain goes purple. Oh, he does too. Coming out of Ascari. So Dan Man's got the fastest lap at the moment too, with a 46.9. But I dare say that's going to get broken. We've got Mr. Brent in 7th too, just uh, little mention there, P7 all on his own a little bit there, so big shout out to Mr. Brent. We have a look now, the captain's got a little bit loose coming into the parabola gap. Yeah, captain's looks a bit glitchy as well, so hopefully he's not going to drop out anytime soon. Yeah, of course, I think he's done that once already this year, hasn't he? Dan the man's having a big look at Lucky, he's going to get the job done. Can Lucky get back? No. So Dan the Man's in second. Wow. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, maybe because he's glitching. Um, Captain just ran a 46.5. And it didn't post his fastest lap, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Wow, that's great. So D3, nearly three and a half seconds up the road from D3. Borg, Skellet, yeah. Hardsoft, loose out of Rogier, and he's got NASCAR all over him now as they head into Lismo 1. Checking, checking with the captain here. Snicko all the way back in 11th. Oh, really? Snicko, there he is, 11th. Down there with Mighty Mo Jalen and Black Dynamite. Who would have thought those Logitech cars were untouchable? the first few races so we we'll do a bit of a fuel run uh, at the moment D is almost down to a quarter of a tank left it's got a little bit above it Dan's running the same Lucky is just under half a tank so he's definitely wow. fuel saving from the two in front and Captain is the same as Lucky, so Captain's wow. doing really well on the fuel save as well. That's huge pace for that amount of fuel, isn't it? Hard Soft and NASCAR, they're all oh, just above quarter of tank. Well. Hard Soft's going to get him into Red Affilio, I feel. Yeah, so uh, NASCAR up to P5. This would probably be one of his better races of the season so far. He yeah. hasn't been, he hasn't, he hasn't been, been up, up the front early, too much. Well, he caught up nearly early race drama down the back either. All the drama was up the front, so he's driven around it. So he's finally got, got himself up the top half of the field, which is, which is a good result for him. He's doing really well. Also, uh, them, the, the whole three, NASCAR, Hardsoft and Brent, they're... Um, not far behind the, the leader, so they're on the. They're doing really well compared to the last races they've had. Yeah, no, they're doing a good job. Good job. Uh, let's go. We've got Ghost on screen at the moment. What's his fuel fuel time like here? Uh, Troy. Oh, Ghost. Ghost is at quarter of a tank and probably used about fifteen percent of his tyres, twenty percent maybe. Wearing all even. He's back. Le uh, back left. Back passenger side, probably wearing a little bit more than the rest. Between him and him and Barry, they're uh, pretty even on numbers for fuel and tyres. Barry's going to have a look here and oh, thinks better off it. The parabolic cap. I don't know if I'd be. Uh, I think I'd be making that Corvette work rather than trying to get around it. He's in, Barry's in. First one to blink. A little bit early for a two stop, I would have thought, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. As we head up the front now, and D's got three and a half seconds on Dan, who's in second place. I think you're probably better off pitting now if you're Barry and you, there's someone in front of you maybe potentially holding you up. You can jump out in yeah. clean air. Yeah, true that. And the man in second there from Dynamite Racing. Good result. 
haven't really seen much of uh, much of this dynamite guys or Lucky Slaw here for that matter up the top half of the field this season so it's really good to see him up there. Can't Doesn't look like D's, D's getting much further away. No. Once those two stop fighting with each other they've sort of uh, held the gap really haven't they? Yeah. We've got the captain there of fifth and sort of just keeping a watch and brief there maintaining the gap. Doing a little fuel saving as well, I'd imagine. We've got Hard Soft in sixth for Ozzy for uh, Powerhouse. We have you about NASCAR in P5 for uh, Cornerstone. Of course, uh, those guys had a livery change uh, during their mid season break as well. So, not a good. Alright, D's in. Dan's in. So Lucky stayed out and got Captain stayed out. So they yeah, I think we gonna next lap around we're going to see... Nah, I don't think they've got sure a one stop. Not. The thing that plays out is that first safety car lap. When you think you've made it to the 20 minute mark, you kind of have actually only done a lap less than you've actually really done. Yeah, that's true. So that puts, uh, goes to P3 which is probably where he should have been from the start. We digress. We've got Snicker up to fourth. We've got Ma up to fifth. For black line. I wonder if these guys are going to roll the dice and maybe one stop. So Chorn's just started that lap and he's just hit the fuel light. So when he comes in, he'll be on vapours. Jeez. You want to be careful. And it looks like Snicko is on the good fuel save again because he's still got a quarter of a tank and it's coming up to the 20 minute mark. So he could potentially go around again. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh, here we go. So that's off down there in night. Of course, these guys all pitted. So D got out in front of Excalibur as well, which is pretty big. We're going to see. Oh, we may see him do another lap yet. Um, sorry, Lucky and Captain. Have to wait so, and see if they come in. So Dan actually beat D out of the pits because Dan was in second when he came in, wasn't he? He followed D in. Wow. Yep. So there we go. Lucky and, Lucky and Captain have gone for another lap, so that wow. they could be one stopping. That's huge. Surely not. Surely you can't one-stop that bloody GDR. Surely not. Oh, as long as you stay in the draft. <laughs> yeah. As long as you don't do that, are coming out of coming out of red affilia as well. Very loose, very wide. So Ghost came in and uh, Mo came in as well with him. We've got Schnicko there in P3. Steve's button around Dan. See if we can find out where he did that on the uh, Aussie replay. I'm thinking he did it in the first corner by the looks of that. Captain has pulled right up onto the back of uh, Lucky here. He has too, so we'll keep an eye on this. I don't know if it's worth getting around trying to go around him though. They're both running exactly the same fuel. Wow. And they're on the light. They're probably going to pull in with Vapor as well. Yeah, it certainly, uh, certainly doesn't sound like they're going as quick as what they normally would anyway. So these guys have done the huge fuel save with it'll be 19 minutes to go by the time they pit, so that's an awesome job from these guys. Be interesting to see where they come out though. One yeah, one I've got stuck in traffic too much. I think from He's still going to have to conserve pretty well to make it with 18 and a half minutes or something to make it to the end. There they come. It's a captain just with a slight fuel advantage. Snicko coming or the Snicko go around again. It looks like he's going around again. Holy moly. This is the thing though, if you stay out too long and you try and fuel safe too long, it, it 
really negates the time you're going to be in the pit stand because you're meant to go so slow to save the fuel, isn't it? Yeah. So, interesting call there from the Altus boys. We'll have to see if it pans out for them. We've got D there, so D's only four seconds down the road from Schnicko as well. Interesting to see. Oh no! Are. Captain has spun! Oh no! There he is, we'll see if we can catch that on a cheap breakaway. Oh, he's done it. Oh, really close! Oh, jeez, that's not a very good way to start your second stand, is it? No. You'll be angry, you'll be an angry man. Like he's got plenty of land down there in Gippsland to uh, run it all off on. So that puts him P9 behind Mr. Brent. It's a good job by Mr. Brent there in the Ronin Supra. Uh, he's got, he's got, a new, he's got a new wheel and pedal set up at home, so he's going to arrive this week. So he's been punching out some laps finally, and uh, this look seems to be paying off. So good job. Staying out of trouble as well, keeping their car strong too. Well, he's still on the track and he's looks to be driving smooth, so I'd say the wheel's working. Yeah, I reckon it is. So Dan's gotten around D as well. So well fortunately, we've missed that one. So Snick goes in, he had no fuel left in that car at all. Let's see if he goes to the... Oh, he'll go to the full tank. He'd have to be... That's a that's a big stint to make 23 and a half minutes. That's, uh, yeah. You have to sort of... You sort of... Your hands are tied. you got to know you, what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, your hands are tied when you go that long in your first stint as well. You sort of have to follow up and try and make it last the whole race. But it'll be interesting to see how much time he makes up when all these other guys come back in again. So Dan the man seems to be holding on to D, D here, holding him off. Plenty of pressure being applied by the uh, by the counter punch Corvette. But, uh, Dan seems to be uh, absorbing it quite well. We got hard soft in third. Look at the freight train behind this guy though. We got Barry, we got Lucky, we got NASCAR, we got Mr. Brent, all minus us third. So the big fat Aston there, he's got the big fat BMW right behind him there in Barry. I'll tell you what, my podium's not looking too bad at the moment. As they head into a scurry now, Barry picks the nose out. I think you're going to find, you're going to see Dan, D, Hardsoft, Barry all pull in for the pits. Lucky is going to be the first one who potentially could go the distance. Wow. So Nick going back in the field here, so Black Dynamite's in 11. Schnicko's dropped all the way down to 12, but he's got a full tank. He's got a full tank. He's, he's good to go home from here. We've got uh, DJ in 13. That's a shocking drive this time from DJ. And uh, we've got Excalibur in uh, 14th place on the lead lap. It's only 37 seconds off the lead, so nothing to be sneezed down there. Big fat Aston looks in pretty good shape as well. So uh, he'll, uh, he'll run him off. So Dee's gotten around Dan again. Let's see if we can catch that on a replay. I don't think. Um... I don't think Ghost is having the race he wanted because he's back down in 10th. Yeah, no, he, I think that first corner really hurt him and he just hasn't recovered. Berry run gets a bit loose coming out of Roger Yan. So he's managed to get around hard, soft, lucky. Now he's got the chore of get, trying to get around that big fat Aston. Yeah, I think if I'm if I'm lucky, I'd be 
saving fuel in the draft, making sure you can make that to the end because yeah, he could come out on top here. That could be a huge turn for uh, turn of the box. I don't think anybody thought the Jagger would end up on the podium. Well, he's only 11 seconds off uh, D, so if D's to pull in and pit again, Ooh, he'll make that up. Wide at the gap. Oh, he's run way wide, he's gone. Hartsock's had a huge moment. So it's dropped them all the way back behind NASCAR now. NASCAR's having a look at Lucky. Don't think Lucky can find us very much. Does he get the job done? He does. So that's NASCAR through to P4 now. It's a good drive from NASCAR. Climb through the field. Oh, Lucky wants to have an argument about it though. Oh, Brent's just had a bit of a slide. Oh, Mr. Brent. Captain has just pulled up into his draft. That's probably not going to help Brent there. Oh, there's a huge understeer coming out of turn one. So, look here. Must have had a moment at Roger yet. Yeah, the captain's right behind him now. Just they head through to Lesmo one. Keep an eye on Lucky and Hardsoft. So Lucky's dropped off Hardsoft here. He's starting to catch NASCAR in fifth. I'd be hanging around though. I wouldn't be putting the nose out or anything. It's, uh, could be a master stroke. Yeah, there we go. Master stroke there from the Lucky's Lawn Care guys. Yeah, you don't want to be hanging around too long with low lap times because he's just starting to break towards the 13 seconds to D. I think roughly it's around the 15 second mark for a quick pit stop, maybe just a tad longer. You don't want to be leaving too much of a, uh, a gap to get ahead. No, no, that's right. So let's have a look. This is a tail of way here. Berry's in. Berry's in. Saw that. Ghost. Ghost isn't it? Brent, Brent pops in with him. He's popped in. So Ghost's P7, if he was P9, he's, he's not going to be a very happy chap in that car at all. We have a look now. So Lucky's still all over this car. This is P3 now. To Brodjie now, got lucky behind him. Head back up the front. He still hasn't shaken up Dan yet either. No, I think Dan's going to be trying to keep with him as best he can. Yeah, he's in a pretty strong spot there in the uh, smart grip on Aston anyway. Good result from Dan. The Corvette is um, pretty strong through Ascari. Seems to get that little bit of an edge coming out on the exit and just just so he can't get into that draft. Yeah. Yeah, they're good enough through Ascari, but they can't. Nobody can make up any time on them and catch the toe down, down the back straight. So Dan hugs the inside at the parabolic area. Will he come in? Dan's in. So's D. So the top two D's got a massive fuel save yeah, on D. Wow, that's huge. It's to be interesting to see where D comes out as opposed to Lucky. So NASCAR's in, Lucky stays out, yeah, hard softs in as well. I think Lucky's got him. So Lucky's gonna get these guys here. Oh, I just seen Brent off, I think. I think you might have, Mr. Brent, P12, see if we can catch uh, him on the replay. He's run wide at the Parabolica. I think he must, he might have had an offer to Scari, maybe. So Lucky's 2.7 seconds up the road from D. Ghost is P3. Yeah, I don't know what's happened to uh, Dan and Captain there. I think Dan would have had to put a fair amount of fuel in the car. So he's and, uh, 
Ghost, ghost, the ghost. ghost. Yeah, Ghost was, was behind Captain, so I don't know, Captain might have had a bit of a drama. Yeah, maybe. I think, has Ghost filled to the end, though? Because Ghost didn't come in that long ago. Uh, Ghost has just over a quarter of a tank. I think you might be pushing that one. Yeah, I think you might be pushing that. So lucky now. 2.4 seconds to the good of D in the uh, Counter Punch Corvette. So D is filled to home. Uh, Dan is filled to home. Uh, Schnicko has jumped up to sixth. And what's his feel looking like? Because he's one stopping today. Uh, he's over half a tank. He's got well enough oh, to get to the end. More than enough. So he could end up. He could well end up on the podium here. So there's another little bit of a master stroke from the Altus guys. He's Ghost just pits. Ghost is in from the third. So that'll look D, Dan, the captain, and Snicko and NASCAR. Yeah, I think you might start to see Snicko uh, just tag onto the back of Captain. Captain seems to be having a little bit of drama with the uh, the GTR seems to be sliding everywhere. Well, the captain's still on the one stop, so I don't think he's pitted twice. No, no, I don't think he has either. He's so on Ghost, the same strategy as Lucky. So Ghost is coming up P7, but he's filled and he's got boots to go home. Barry's behind him, 18 seconds off the lead, so it'll be interesting to see how much time he can make up on these guys. D's definitely catching Lucky here. D's pitted and field to home as well. He's already pitted again, hasn't he? D is good to go. So D, this is for the lead of the race. And Are you looking at maybe just absolutely smoking the jag? Probably going to see three to potentially four laps, and uh, I think D can hold it flat out. He's got over half a tank as well. Wow. So the field numbers are good for uh, counter punch. One stop for the Jag though. It's going to be a big call. We've got Dan at third, five seconds down the road from these guys. We've got the captain two and a half seconds behind Dan in fourth. Here comes the Oxy BMW. Have a look at it. Stickers in P5. Can he make the one stop work? He's got more fuel than the captain. So we've got NASCAR in 6th, we've got Barry having a look at Ghost here for 7th, he's having a big look, he's having a dive, side by side as they go through. <laughs> Hardsoft oh. collects them both. Hardsoft collects them both with Renafelio, we'll see if we can catch that on a replay. Down the straight. So Ghost is Dan, Dan's come out. So that could explain the traffic a little bit. I've got me too far in here. Alright, so Snicko. Dick's, Dick's managed to get around Lucky in the meantime as well. Snicko's right on the captain. So this captain must be feel safe because he lost a huge amount of time to Snicko. He's probably. That. We all know that BMW can sit like it's nothing. He's probably just realised he's he could potentially go three laps here and he's he's gonna be hit and miss for fuel if it's three laps. The big ask to do the one stopper in the GR GTR, sorry. It's a huge ask. So I think Lucky's getting Lucky's dropped off D here. Lost the draft. He's got enough fuel to get him home. So he's lucky. He's just just shy of quarter of a tank. So he's going to be pushing if we go another two laps. Touch and go. We'll definitely get one. 
Dean's good to go though, so he can go as fast as he likes, so he's not worried about fuel. No. Dan's not, I don't think Dan will be too worried about fuel. So there we go. And the captain's got a huge penalty. He's got 1.5 second penalty. That's massive. That's that's a pretty substantial shortcut in Red Ophelia, I reckon. So Snicko's going to wrap, wrap him up here. Just a matter of time. That's a huge comeback from Schnicko from 11th. Did he start 11th? Uh, I think it was 9th. 9th. So it'll be P4. That's 5 spots. That's a good, not a bad day's work. We've got NASCAR there in P6. Mid pack for NASCAR. I don't know if uh, the CP conglomerate will be all that happy with today's efforts, apart from D, of course, out front. The other two boys might be a bit, a bit less happy, let's say. We've got Ghost there in seven. As Snicko goes around, Captain, which is going to bring NASCAR right onto the back of Captain, too. It does. Snicko's already got a huge gap on him as well. D's not hanging around. D's three seconds already in front. I think we're going to see, we're going to see another two laps here. <laughs> yeah, I think we might. And that's going to put Lucky and Captain in a pretty bad spot. Yeah, so Dan's just chunking time out of Lucky at the moment. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> the Remus can't watch. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, mate. Don't worry about it. You'll be all good. So, I think Dan will probably, probably get lucky. Uh, Slicko's got around the captain. The captain's burnt their penalty. Yes, he has. Uh, I would dare say, if the captain's fuel saving, that NASCAR's going to get him as well. NASCAR. NASCAR doesn't have very much, uh, very any different fuel to Captain, so it could, <laughs> the um, both could be fuel saving. Okay, and uh, we've got Ghost, Barry, Hearts, and Hardsoft all together. Ghost is on the fuel light already again, wow. so he's been in three times already. Has he really? Well, uh, sorry, he's been in twice, twice. and this will be the third time because he'll have to pit again. Yeah, he's going to have to do another lap because. Or does he just kick it in the bucket and just let everyone buy? He's definitely going to have to do another lap. Oh, he's going to be absolutely gutted in that car about that. Oh, I don't think he'll... I think he'll get over it. Oh, you reckon he'll get there in time? Oh, no. Oh, he, he did! He got there in time, so Hardsot's going to finish ninth. Mr. Breen will finish 11th, Matty D will finish 11th, maybe. Oh, that's a bit spicy down there. We might leave that. We'll head up the front, and D's got 7.5 seconds on Dan, who's managed to get around lucky. So that, that takes Dan up to second. It's a big gap from lucky to Snicko. It'll be interesting to see if Snicko can make that gap up. Seven seconds. The captain of the NASCAR are just wandering around down there, but we're going to keep an eye on Schnicko. Lucky is just bringing up into the red, the red into the taco and <laughs> changing gears, so he's definitely he's fuel saving. So Dean's flashing the lights already down the back straight. It's a great drive from Dean. Started fourth, I believe, on the grid. No dramas with Phil. Managed to get around that huge incident at turn one. And uh, he's yeah, going to do it easy, really, isn't he? He's put the race together, that's for sure. Yeah, so well done. Well done, Dean. Well done, Counterpunch. Job done. 
three race wins for the round two, so CP4 has done a huge job at Monza. Dad's going to finish second. Lucky's going to get third on the one stop. That's a huge result for Lucky's long cash. Slicko's going to finish fourth. The captain's going to come home at fifth. NASCAR's going to finish sixth. Barry got around Ghost, who I dare say has run out of fuel. He's out. He's out. So Ghost is going to finish eighth, and he is going to be in the CP private helicopter and out of here pretty quick smart, I would say. I wonder if the uh, the two GT track boys are keeping secrets from each other, because one had enough fuel all around and the other one didn't even make it. <laughs> yeah. Samus, so the Remus is pretty happy with himself. So well done, D. Congratulations, mate. Started third. I will save the replay and we'll check the results. So D wins it from Dan for Dynamite. That's a huge result for Dynamite Racing. Congratulations to those guys. P2 for Dan. Lucky in the Jag with the mega fuel save for the one stop. So congratulations to Lucky's Lawn Care as well. Snicko for Logitech in fifth. The captain will finish fifth. Snicko will finish fourth. NASCAR will finish sixth. He'll be pro. I reckon he'll be pretty happy with that. Uh, Barry in seventh for Obsession. Uh, Ghost P8 will not be happy with that result at all. For uh, Counter Punch. Hard Soft. Good drive from Hard Soft. Dude. Unlucky in the uh, Aston. Mr. Brent in 10th, Black Dynamite 11th, got through a whole race without leaving, so well done Matty D, good job mate. Uh, DJ managed to scrape up to 12th, Mighty Mojo Allen will finish 13th, Excalibur will finish 14th as a fill-in for Clindy Gogo, and DJ got the fastest lap of the race on lap 19 with a 46.6, so there you go, super faster than a GDR, there we go. Yeah, that's going to be a good, um, that was a good outcome for Matty and the Dynamite team. Yeah, I'll, those boys, they were pretty happy with that. And I would say D will be chugging on some champagne right now. <laughs> oh yeah, he'll be loving life at the moment. The Remus, you and also, uh, through? He has. Yep. I'm trying to remain level-headed about it oh, yeah, right. <laughs> as impartial as possible <laughs> but um yeah look stoked for him he's uh he's one of those boys that's been around for a long time and while wins come easily for some guys here uh <clears throat> cyborg but uh yeah. this, that's his first <laughs> he's you know that's his first ever win uh for d so he's had a few podiums and he tries you know, he puts in a lot of practice time, as a lot of boys do, but chuffed for him to have finally got a win. That's awesome. Yeah, good on him. So, uh, and um, hard luck stories coming from the counterpunch side of the, from the other side of the garage. There. Yeah, well, it's one of those things, you know, you take the good with the bad, and unfortunately for Ghost there, the start just completely ruined his race. He was fearful of it. He wanted to qualify well to try and avoid that, and he did. You know, P2's... An amazing result for him, and unfortunately, it still sort of didn't pay off in the end. But as um, as we like to do at CP, he's, he's driven the race out, and I'm sure he's put as much effort, well, along with a fair bit of swearing and <laughs> and all that, um, he would have given everything he had. So, and at some points there in the race, I think he helped D. You know, he managed to run a slightly different strategy and get in front of some of the boys that were challenging D at the time so um, he's done he's done right by the team as well all right well speak of the devil we have a special guest in the box with us Mr D how are Oof, how are we yeah. boys oh, that hey. mega drive, mate. well done far out <laughs> I, I didn't make it easy on myself either um, picking up two penalties there and then uh Early on in the race, uh, when I come up on Lucky and uh, Dan, it was on the main straight. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> and, awesome. uh, yeah, I can't believe I came through with it. But, um, yeah, massive shout-out to the team and everything. It's been a long, long time coming for that. And, yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon. That's so well funny, done, mate. Man. Well done. You've got a uh, – there's a pass you keep telling me about that you pulled a couple of seasons ago. Um, that you keep telling me is a real memorable pass. How does that one rank um, with getting past the two boys coming into turn one? Oh, that was just on another level. Like, 
I, I didn't know where to go, and I was just like, all right, middle, and yeah, <laughs> it worked. Two wide uh, through there is crazy. Three wide's just unheard of. Yeah, I think I pushed the brake pedal through the firewall, but we got through and <laughs> no t- no contact. So <laughs> was it was it opposite the lap before? Because we were wondering how you went from first to third, and then the next yeah, lap well, around, we kind of seen more, how it might have happened. Yeah, well, I think uh, it was maybe this first chicane. I accidentally cut it a bit too much and copped a second and a half penalty. So wow, big one. Yeah. Right on. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you're. Um, it's a well-deserved win. I think you had an edge on pace over the field, and it's um, it's just rewards for you and the team, obviously. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Awesome, Rob. Uh, also joining us in the box again uh, tonight is the good doctor. How was that, mate? On the podium. Hey, bud. Yeah. Yeah, nice little uh, tidy podium there for the team. Yeah, couldn't have much of that bloke out in front of that flag of his, did you? Uh, no, he's um, he's on another level to us, unfortunately. He's all the credit to him, though. He's been putting in the laps for the last couple of weeks, so yeah. definitely see where the pace has come from. Uh, we thought we'd try and try and sneak on the back of him and hold on, but he uh, shook us loose there and um, had a good battle with uh, the bad doctor and Pruki for a bit there, though. Yeah, no, that, that was, was uh, good. That was uh, bit of a, a, lot of, a lot of TV time tonight, so... Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, Even though food. apparently I think we may have missed a, uh, a two wide down the back straight second last lap. Is that right with the bad doctor? Oh yeah, down the front straight, front side straight. by side, all the way down the straight. I thought I might be able to break him into one, but he just tucked on the inside there, and I just gave him a bit of room and tucked it back in behind him and shucked it down the outside of him <laughs> on the run into uh, the parabolica on the last lap. But I just couldn't quite get it in there around him so uh was did you have a noticeable sort of car set up different to Prusky? it just seemed that the he was really strong sort of on the back half of the lap and you guys seemed to pull him back through the first half of the lap was there a wing difference there or uh, i'm not sure about Prusky's car um right. i noticed uh, both himself and, and the bad doctor are really good through uh the scari yeah so they picked up a lot of time through the back end of the circuit there Particularly i tend to get them i tend to catch them up through the lesmos pretty good so i might have had a little bit more front wing or something to do with the front end there because i could turn into the lesmo is pretty pretty tight compared to those boys so i used to tuck in there and yeah that no, was a good race oh, yeah, i was quite yeah. I was happy with it i wasn't really uh you undersold yourself a little bit mate prior to the race there's a few yeah. guys that will probably say told you so yeah. <laughs> um, and, and come yeah. through with the podium no it was good fun uh, so, uh, driver of the day, we missed that before. So, driver of the day, uh, no surprise there, goes to D. Uh, I don't think anyone else got a vote, so well done, Big D. You take your first victory and you take driver of the day as well, so well done. Beautiful. Uh, I think Lucky's got the uh, SH1Ts with you, though, for uh, not getting a penalty. Because you cost them fuel, so... Might have to have a little word to about that, but yeah, definitely drive of the day, mate. Well done. See ya, uh, Snicko with the one stop, so you made that work, same as Lucky and Captain. So I'm not, I don't know how Captain made that work, but he's done he it. That work too. Captain, yeah, well, you did that one stop, mate. That was magic. If you had have managed to stay incident free, you it, it would have been right up there with Dino, yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Um, we were a bit sceptical at CP whether the one stop was a, a good play but and we decided it wasn't but a couple of boys there could have really made it work and some have made it work so it's quite interesting to see where the cars are at post the last sort of update um, there's been some changes there there's a the fuel burn change on the porch I'll give you the tip yeah well we were discussing it through the stream it's uh, burning very a bit more thirsty. yeah very thirsty compared to what we were used to. We knew it would be thirsty in Monza anyway because it's a wide open throttle track. Yeah. Yep. But, uh, yeah, she used a lot of fuel. Well, I don't think anybody made it to halfway with... Nah. Uh, they were all under half a tank. Yeah. We, we were all try practicing it today and we, we both we all sort of said, look, they're not going to make it, so we might as well push and chuck some fuel in them. Yep. Whatever. <laughs> uh, question. Mm-hmm. Lap one, turn one. Mm-hmm. Group B. What happened there? Mm-hmm. As in Porsches or uh, the AG, uh, the S1 GT? <laughs> I think the question should be no what comment. didn't happen. Yeah, no, no comment on that one. Uh, oh boy. We'll, we'll leave that to the boys in the uh, room next door. I think. I think they'll. Uh, I think they'll be getting a few emails about that. So. 
I think I saw them get on the bus. I think they're heading to the airport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, some poor steward out there has got himself about an hour and a half's work there. I think <laughs> uh, through the week at least. Uh, um, Wouldn't be yeah. much different to last round. No, <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> And I, I, I did see the uh, CP helicopter fly off pretty quick after the race as well, so <laughs> unfortunately Ghost won't be joining us in the box tonight. Um, which helicopter I, was it? The CP one. Yeah, which one though? They've got a few. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just saw the one that said CP on it, so. But uh, yeah, hard luck tonight, mate. It was... Uh, it's going to be always going to be tough to recover from all the way from back there, but uh, these things happen. So on to the on to Spa, Spa next next week. Uh, Group A, is it? Yep. Yeah. Correct. So, uh, I see the the weather forecast is still looking a little bit damp there in the morning. So uh, early showers, I think they're saying. Early showers. So uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, also, there's no. Sh- at Spa either. Correct. For uh, for those that were looking forward to the shootout, unfortunately, we've had to uh, knock that on the head. So it'll just be uh, normal qualifying as usual, uh, and then uh, the FYRC guys will get to go around and have a play in the puddles, and then it'll be the uh, Group A or S1 GT. Uh, I'm sure the CP boys will be looking for another dominant weekend like they had this one. Uh, but uh, let's let's hope they don't. For obvious reasons, the uh, the buckets getting pretty rusty on the inside. So, I think uh, come come Spa with uh, Josh in Group B. I think he, if he does a good a, a good outcome there, he's. He's looking pretty for the championship, so hopefully yeah, he can... Yeah, I think he's rubbing away with this one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I think the only people that can catch him are the Black Light boys, and I think if tonight's proved anything, it's that I think he's far and above... Well, he's in the same league as Justin, it really isn't he, because those two were the only ones that were fighting for... Uh, fighting for victory at the start and Justin I was lucky enough to move up so well like yeah. Lucas Lucas said uh, they're all putting in the practice time and yeah. yep. this this week and uh, leading up to Shainsky's uh, race they both are running the same strategy and it worked so they've, they've, they've definitely been working together to make them yep. both have good outcomes am no, I correct in saying that the Porsche race will be a wet qualifier too next week Uh, <laughs> I've stumped well, us all. The Porsches, all. Are, the Porsches uh, are, go automatic, so it'll be whatever the qualifying is will be the same as the race yeah. because mm. I don't think you can split it. Okay, we won't look into that, but just I suppose trying to make the point that while he's sitting comfortable at the moment, you never know what can happen. Have a look at poor old Ghost Race tonight, and yeah, and many yeah. others before him. <laughs> think everything's just going to plan, and next thing you know, you find yourself off the back of the field with a you know a ten second I gap think, to the next bloke. So I think, in all honesty, with uh, with how good Lockwood's going, and all the credit to him. I think that's the only chance we have now is just by him having a, a big whoops mm. yeah. at some stage. He's uh, He's been the class of the field for the back half of the season. Now, Justin, it's out of the way as well. And all the credit to him. He puts in, all the, puts in the kilometres in practice. So we, we we started out a couple of weeks ago practising with him and we were in front of him and he's, he's obviously got his head down and he's uh, he's come back in front of us we put in plenty of practice too so all the credit to him really the proof's in the pudding he hasn't shown any signs of cracking up from a pressure point of view so mm. you'd have to say at this point that he should be able to follow through uh, and it will be dry for the Porsche race there we go uh, good to know to the chat so I yep. hope you're right yay <laughs> 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 alright so final thoughts Steve race winner well done Oh, I don't know, mate. I'm already under the second beer, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, mate. <laughs> we'll I'll enjoy I'll... this for a bit, yep. and move on to Spa, mate, because it's it's going to be a lot of work, you know, with the uh, quality in the wet and a dry race. Um, but yeah, hopefully, just back it up with another solid result next round, and uh, see how we go. Awesome. Well, go and enjoy your champagne, mate. Well done. Well done, mate. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll wrap it up there, guys. Um, 
Sure, uh, Scotty, great racing tonight, lads. Great work in the box team. Thanks very much, mate. Much appreciated. Uh, Presky, great to yeah, talk about carnage. Yeah, yeah we, we're going to leave that one alone. That'll be the debrief next week, I think. Uh, other than that, uh, final thoughts, boys, before we uh, wrap it up. All good. Bring on next week. I think next week's going to sort out everyone in the wet qualifying for S1 GT. Yeah. Uh, as, had, a, uh, had a few laps in the GDR this week and I don't want to have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, you're up next week, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, well, well good luck with that. So, uh, uh, yeah, I think, uh, of course, Scotty G in the Porsches for Group A as well. I think he's looking pretty good there as well. That's, I think he's just about run and done that one as well. And they're just in it. Can't be too far behind anyway, so I don't have the points in front of me. So that. Anyway, folks, I'm rambling on. It's 9 o'clock. It's Sunday night. I have to go to work tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much for joining me in the box tonight, gents. Um, Thanks, man. Next week thank will you. be uh, normal service will resume. We'll have... Uh, uh, the big dog in the in the box joining the good doctor. So Ghost will be back with his next week for Group A at Spa. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much in the chat. Uh, it's always cool to read the comments and uh, see all the banter and the congratulations and everything. Uh, but other than that, this is Jim Bob, and you have been watching Round 5 of the S1 GT and FYRC Championship from Monta. Good night. Thank you.